goodness he's had on us today. Uh, <coughs> Thankful to see everybody that's out with us. something that you need from God, you can get. You can get what you need. There is so much going on right now that you pay a person to keep their eyes on the Lord. If you have your Bible and you want to look with me, I'm in the second book of Kings and the second chapter. I have preached this before. Uh, but it seemed like it kind of was on my heart before I left the house this evening. Let me read it to you. Chapter 2. So then it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee, here, for the Lord hath sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And 
Fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view afar off. And they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. And they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be sold unto thee. But if not, it shall not be sold. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it. And he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither and thither, and Elisha went over. And when the sons of the prophets which were to view at Jericho saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him, and bowed themselves to the ground before him. I felt like maybe talking just a little bit tonight, <clears throat> hopefully to help somebody, hopefully to help you. And we see in the story that the older prophet is finishing up his business. When you read this and you see that he went from uh, Gilgal to Bethel and Bethel to Jericho and Jericho to Jordan. This old man was being led by the Spirit of God. The Holy Ghost was talking to him and would tell him where to go. He'd tell him what to do. He would go and he would do. When he get done there, the Spirit would talk to him again tell him where to go from there. We find that his one of his servant, one of his students underneath him, everywhere that he would go, Elisha would follow behind him. He'd come to a place that well let me say first of all, they, they tell us in life that if you want to accomplish something, you first have to set a goal. You have to have a vision of what your desire is. And Elisha, he had a goal. He had something that he wanted so greatly. You know, it would be something to be around those, those old prophets of days gone by. Two, you surely you're not for the Lord, maybe something that would be well let you just go and see one of them, meet one of them. Talk to one of them. Listen to those men teach. Or listen to those men prophesy. 
and watch and see how great that God worked with them and the great things that God would do to them. Well, Elisha had a front row seat. And he saw how God worked with Elijah. Yeah. He saw the power of God in Elijah's life. <clears throat> and he began to set a goal that there was something that he wanted to obtain. It looked like he went from Gilgal down to the house of the Lord. <clears throat> Bethel means the house of God. He went to Bethel. He went to the house of the Lord. And wouldn't you know that here the man walks in that's got something in mind that he wants from the Lord. And as he walks into the house of God, Bethel, the sons of the prophets were there to meet him. And what are they there to meet him with? They're there to meet him with a sad report. They're there to meet him with something discouraging. They're there to tell him something really that he didn't need to hear. He already knew the bad side. He already knew God that had let Elijah know he was going to take him. And he, Elisha, already knew that. Children of that, we already know how bad life is. Amen. Everybody here knows how bad that the devil is. We know how dark it is. We know how hard that it is. And we don't need anybody in the house of God to tell us how bad that it is. Amen. But if we come to the house of God and we've got a goal, something that we desire of God, look like we need somebody to encourage us. Yeah. Elisha didn't have anybody to encourage him. Don't you know that the Lord's going to take your master away from your head today? Yes, I know it. Hold your peace. Sometimes we need no one to hold our peace. You bear with me tonight, children. I know right where I'm at. Well, he leaves. And he goes down to Jericho. This is the city where God brought a great and miraculous victory for the people of God when they first came into the Holy Land. Praise the Lord. I wonder if they, if they begin to approach that city. I wonder if, if maybe the two men of God can see the rubble of the old wall that used to be about the city of Jericho. I wonder if they can see the ruins and were reminded of the great victory that God worked for them. I wonder how much faith they begin to get when they look and they saw the evidence of what God had already done years ago. When they got in there, here come the sons of the prophets again. And they had the same bad news that the other ones had. Don't you know that the Lord's going to remove your master from your head today? Don't you know that God, this is the day that God said that He's going to call Elijah home? Yes, I know it. Hold your peace. He still had something that he desired and he needed from God. Anybody come out tonight and want something from the Lord? Yeah, come on, brother. Anybody here tonight that needs something from God? Yeah, come on. Praise the Lord. Now rest assured, even when you come to the house of God, there's going to be somebody sitting around to want to whisper in your ear and discourage you. Yeah. If they're not, maybe not intended to do it, maybe just good nature trying to just shout a little news with you, but nevertheless, Something discouraging to get your mind off your goal, get your eyes off the Lord. Yeah. Hold your peace. Each time that he would begin to go, I could imagine to myself that Elijah would get that mantle when he was finished prophesying, whatever he was doing, he'd get that mantle, he'd put that mantle over, and begin to head back out to the city. If he's get ready to go, he'd say, stay here. Stay here. And the last would begin to look at that old man and begin to say, praise the Lord. Amen. As the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave you. There's something that I want from God. No matter what, even the, even the one that you would say he's here over the faith, begin to turn to him and turn but he had something that he wanted from God and even Elijah himself could 
not turn Elisha from what he wanted. Amen. 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 Who come out of the night want something from the Lord? Amen. Come on. Who come out of the night that you want some healing? Yeah. That you want some victory? Yeah. Then you're here and you're not going to the yeah. baptism yeah. of the Holy Ghost. You come out and tonight will be a good night for you. You'd be satisfied with you if the Lord wanted to baptize you tonight. That'd be all right with you, wouldn't it? Come on, brother. We begin to sing the songs and we can't hardly get victory. And here comes that old man to serve, trying to whisper and discourage. Yes. You try to pray and seek the Lord, try to work for God, and see no like you want to go through like you're not going to. And here comes that messenger to talk to you. Amen. We need to learn, surely. If Elisha can tell the sons of the prophet to hold the peace, you and I need to learn to tell that devil to hold his peace. There's something I want from God. I want him more than anything else. Is he? Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. When the Lord has sent me down to Jordan, praise the Lord. He's going all around. All around. Boy. They come down. I don't know if it'd be the same place as Jordan, but they came down to the Jordan River. You remember all them years before, and Joshua and the people began to gather by the banks of the river. The water is the flood season, and then priests began to pick up that ark, and they began to walk out as God told them to walk. The children what began to happen. That same Spirit of God that was in the ark parted the waters and they walked through Jordan yeah. River and they gathered 12 stones on the way through and he said get to the other side and set up a monument a memorial and the Lord's children say what mean these stones what happened here then you tell them what's on God how they let him rob and delivered you and they came down to that same Jordan River and the same spirit of God that was in the ark all the years ago rested in the probably begin to take that old mantle off. I kind of, I can't, but by his actions, I, I believe Elisha learned that when Elisha began to take his mantle off, he about to do something. Praise the Lord. Yeah, come on. You mean me a little bit of God? The power of God began to move your sin, we're going to roll our sleeves up. You knew something was about to happen. I believe as Elisha stood there, and Elijah began to take that mantle off, and he began to roll it together. I believe that young man began to look and he began to realize God's about to do something one more time to the old man. Amen. The Bible teaches that he smoked the waters. They parted hither and thither. They piled up. Not only did they pile up, I believe the Lord pulled the water right out of the mud on the bottom of the river. Amen. He didn't just part, but he just sucked it right back up Amen. because they went over on dry ground. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, what do you want me to do for you? What is it that you want? I'm leaving. What do you want? Hey, children, you looked around the house of the Lord this evening. You don't see many fathers. You don't see many mothers. And the ones that are here, we're leaving. What would you want before we get gone? What would you want, brother, before we get gone out of here? He said, I'm on a double portion of the spirit that you have. And he was talking about the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. He said, this is a hard thing. You ask. But nevertheless, if you see me when I go, it'll be done for you. But if you don't see me, it won't be done. In other words, you want this? Don't take your eyes off the goal. Yeah. You want this, you can have it. But you can't let anything cause you to take your eyes off of what you want to obtain. Glory to God. I believe, I believe you and I we started going through that door. And remember, we kind of looked to the left and right and said, Boy, look at that water. We kind of wanted to look and see it piled up. But I believe Elisha had his eyes right on the mount of God. Because he knew this is the last trip around with my mouth. After the day, I'll not lay eyes on him no more. But he made a promise to me that I would not allow myself to be distracted. I could have this one thing and I want more than anything else. Come on, Brutus. Yeah, I'm not going to take my eyes. 
internet was talking. The Bible says a chariot of fire God. came down out of heaven. Then it parted between them. And after the chariot passed on, glory, glory, glory. Amen. And Elijah began to go on up. And Elisha was standing and watching him go. And I can't help but believe. I told you when the old man of God got busy, he'd take that man off, he'd roll it up. He still had it rolled up. They got to the other side of the river. And here comes the chariot. And when the chariot comes, I'm going to tell you one thing. Just when that good the Lord comes to get you, I believe on that day you'll have your hands raised up to pray to God. I can't help but believe that that old man of God, here comes his victory. He's going home. The last night for home was coming back. And the hand went up. And the mantle began to twirl back down to the earth. Oh, I'm ready.
He still parted the waters like He did for the high priest. Lord, we thank Joshua you. walked through. Come on, brother Jesse. Come on. And He parted the waters the same way for Elijah. And He come back down third time and He parted the waters again for Elisha. I feel like tonight, if you've had your eyes on the goal and you've done your part and you're living good, living close to God, I don't think there'd be anything wrong with crawling in the altar or sitting right where you are right now and say, where are you, God? You told me if I do this, you do this for me. Now I need you. Come by. And we'll oh, brother, come on. Oh, do you have a goal? What are you coming for tonight? Yeah. What are you here for, children? Glory to God. What do you want from God, church? Glory what do you want from God? I'm going to tell you you're going to have it. You don't let yourself get distracted. You don't let something come along for your heart away, for your mind away. You don't sit in that seat let the enemy talk to you again. Convince you it's not for you. Oh, I'm going to tell you tonight it's for you. Amen. The things of God are for His people. Glory, glory, glory. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We begin to walk back to cross over toward Jericho. And I thought all the 50 men that went out there, none of them even put forth the effort to go down to the river with him. No, nobody else cared that much about the man of God to follow him all the way to the end. They stood from afar and just watched from afar. Oh, they saw some good things. Oh, Lord have mercy. It's good to watch. But children, run down to the riverside. Don't stand from afar and watch to see what's going on. Get down there in the river. Boy, I'm back at the river again. I'm back at the water again. Pray, Lord. We have my well there over here. Like we preached the other night. Run down to the riverside and say, God, measure me out a thousand cubits. I'm down here, Lord. I come to preach encouragement to somebody. 
Praise now, when I go picking and choosing when I can preach, you all, we, I and you need me to sit down and be quiet. But tonight I come preach to you. You can have what you want from the Lord. But don't let yourself get distracted. And what do you want? What do you want? That Holy Ghost that we talk about them men, some of them have been known about 30 years. And we still talk about them. God, Lord. It wasn't them. It was the Spirit that was in their life. Mom, and the same Spirit that moved on them, you can get him to move on you. Amen, brother. And you can come down, and he'll move on you just like he moved on them. And he'll give you power just like he gave them power. Lord, 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 I told him today, I said, Lord, you told me that you make the finest thing, but I'm I praying, Lord, give me more of the Holy Ghost. Yes, good Lord. Give me more of the Holy Ghost. I need more of him. I'm not trying to be greedy, children, but the things that we need to take place it takes a deep power of God. It takes somebody to deep in God to get it to move. I said, Lord, you told me in your word that I would receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon me. Glory to God. Oh, don't you know how many times the enemy comes to you and says, You can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. Not for you. You can't just whatever it is that you want. You can't have it. It ain't for you. It's for others, but it's not for you. You need to learn to say, hold your peace. The Lord rebuke you. I'm going on with Jesus. I'm going on with Jesus. As my soul lives, I'll not depart from it. No matter how hard that enemy fights, no matter how hard that he presses, you need to have it in your mind. I'm not going to leave his side. I'm going to keep my eyes on the Master. Because there's something that I want from Him. Glory, glory, glory. Jeremiah, as long as the Lord will strive with me to preach this way, I'm going to preach this way. Yeah, bless him, Lord. Who wants the Holy Ghost? I bless him. I'm going to show you something different tonight. Oh, Lord, in the name of the Lord. And I don't believe in playing, playing this 20 question sermon. And sometimes the Lord will bid me to ask and I ask. It's the time I'd ask him, Jamie, we just sit right there. But tonight, I said, Who wants the Holy Ghost? And if I'm not mistaken, her hand went up first. Brandon's hand went up. Keith's hand went up. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. Put it up, son. Put it up. Look on, devil, look on. Look on, look on. When somebody's here and they want to watch me put my hands up, they got nothing better to do than go on to church. Go on church. I'm a man with a goal. I'm a man with a goal. I said I'm a man with a goal. Are you? But if I'll keep my eyes on the Master, Ooh. keep my eyes on the Master, I hear something, Mama, I hear something from the Lord. 
Say that again. Glory, glory to you. What would you want to do? What would you want to do? I'd ask you for the Holy Ghost. I've been asking you for the Holy Ghost. I'd ask you for the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. Where it is, the Lord God of the light. There's so many times, Brother Mike, we get in service and we get in meetings sometimes and I feel like standing up and saying, where is the Lord God? But tonight I know. I know where He's at. I know where He's at. He's right here. He's right here with me today. I know He's here. He's here. When I come down earlier, He was here. When I come down last night, He was here. Hey, Amen. I come down night before that, He was here. Praise the Lord. He's here now. Do you need some help? Do you need some help? Now, Mark, tell me, he said, go sit down. This old fellow going to go sit down. God bless you. But the Holy Ghost is up the floor right now. And the devil might as well sit back and shut his mouth. We're the children of God. We are the people God bless you, of the King of Kings. We are the chosen people. Glory to God. The royal priesthood. We're the children of people. And we want the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Fill me up, Lord. Fill me up. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. You want some more? You want some more? Oh, good Jesus, good Jesus, good Jesus. All he's got to do is lay the palm of Bless your people, Lord. You look up tonight and you know God's got everything you can try. God's one of that only door. You got more faith in that, don't you? Show me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. See that good spirit in the Lord. Holy Ghost move on mom. Oh, I, I believe I want to go down to the river with mama. Yeah. Come on, brother. I believe I want to go down to the river and I want what yeah. she's got. I want what she's got. Amen. Come on, brother. Woo! I want what she's got. Glory, glory, glory. What do you want? How bad do you want it? Who can give it to you? Come on, brother. John said, I truly baptize you with water and repentance. He said, but there's one coming after me. I'm mightier than I am. Jesus. Shoes I'm not worthy to wear. He said, and he shall shall um, say might yeah. Yeah. say shall Long baptize you yeah. with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Come on, Bridges. Amen. You're real tonight, Bridges. You're real. I believe you do it tonight. Sure. You believe you do it tonight? Come on, Bridges. Come on, you people claiming you got the Holy Ghost. Come on, Bridget. Where's the idea of our children? Come on, Bridget. I believe you can give it to you. Yeah. Look, Keith, you know the good thing about feeling good and not knowing what to do, you don't have to do for him. Right. Come but sit there and pray the Lord. Yeah, come on. But my brother, as soon as he tells you what to do, you better hit your feet and do it in the name of Jesus and say, Lord, where is the Holy Ghost? The promise. Come on, brother. To the children of the living God. Yeah. Don't be discouraged. Don't be disheartened. Don't give up. Don't leave tonight without <laughs> that very special thing that you want. Amen. Because you can have it. If you don't let the devil talk you out of it. Amen. Amen. I love the Lord. 
I know it's been waiting. Yes, I do. I'm willing, which is too late now. I'm willing to sit and to send our smile. If that's what it would take for him to move on you. Amen. But the good thing is God's got enough for everybody. Amen. He can move on one in the front corner. At the same time, move on somebody in the opposite corner of the church house. And never lose one drop of sweat. Amen. Not one ounce of power. And not worry one bit of how he's going to meet all the needs of all these people that's here. What do you want from me? Oh, I think it'd be a good night to open the altar again. Praise the Lord. Keep that fire going upon the altar. God bless you. Keep that fire going. If you're here and you want to pray, this altar is always open. Amen. I've opened it almost every night that we've had church. Not every, but almost every night. We're going on 14 years. Not one time have I ever been moved on by the Lord to say this altar's closed. Oh, really? Because the mercy door is still open tonight. Amen. And you can have it if you don't let that enemy talk you out of it. That's right. You need him? He got you healed. You need saving? He's got you salvation. Yes, sir. You need baptized? He baptized. Amen. Whatever that you desire from God. You can have it. But don't let nobody turn you around. Don't let anybody discourage you from moving forward. I love you, good Lord, those that's able. Who stand rest yourself and we'll open this altar up. Get in this altar. Fill this altar back up. Those that are able, if you're not praying, try to get the Come on. This altar open.